So I've taped on little galaxies. So realize our universe is expanding, but the galaxies are not. The galaxies and everything in them are stuck together at the same distance, basically because of particle physics, all the way down to the simple atom, all the way up to solar systems and galaxies. So I put these on with sticky tape because I don't want those expanding, but I want our universe to expand. Can you guys see that okay? So when I use this as an analogy, I want you guys to realize that our expanding universe is on the surface of this balloon, right? It's not in the balloon. And so when you think about that, is there a center? Can we find the center of the universe anywhere on the surface of this balloon? We can't, can we? It's all relative. So think about that. The next thing we talked about was light, right? We talked about this weird thing called redshift. So we talked about these absorption lines in all light that's either emitted from stars or galaxies full of stars, and we talked how it shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. And so we said, astronomers figured out that's because things are expanding. So I need two assistants that want to come up. Maybe they want to come up and help. Oh, I saw a hand, too late, come on up. One more, we need one more. Come on up. So these guys are my stretching chalkboard, my side of the universe, okay? So when I give you guys the command, I want you to start moving apart, all right? So you're our expanding universe. And with this Sharpie, I'm gonna be light that's trying to travel across the universe, okay? Ready for this? And, and go. So think about this. Oh, you're right. So if you guys watched, as that light is traveling across the universe, it's getting stretched, isn't it? So as it gets stretched, what end of the spectrum are we gonna see the shift of all those little absorption lines? So the red side or the blue side of that spectrum? I hear a lot of you saying red, right on. So let's try, I got a lot here just for that one scenario. So, so now start apart, we tip it up so they can see it. Try and start farther apart. So now let's talk about if our universe was shrinking. You ready? So here comes our light coming across the universe. Now you guys start coming back together. Now you guys see those waves actually getting smushed or bunched together? So if our galaxies were coming together or our universe was shrinking, what kind of shift would that be? What end of the spectrum? To the blue end, right? Does that make sense to everybody? Awesome, thank you both. Give a round of applause. But let's take that one step further. So if we have two galaxies here that are close together, and then we have a galaxy that's really far apart like the one on the opposite side, if we're the observer and we're looking towards a close galaxy, we don't see this recessional velocity being very extreme, do we? Likewise, if this is our galaxy, the Milky Way, and there's a really far galaxy away, the time it takes for that light to actually make it to us, the observer, takes a long time, doesn't it? It takes so long, there's much longer time to actually stretch that light wave, and therefore we see a greater red shift in that precessional velocity. And therefore, if we go really distant to like 50 megaparsecs, we see a much larger uh, recessional velocity or that redshift. And so that hopefully makes sense to you guys. Close to us, not much of a redshift or a recessional velocity. Far away from us, a long time to stretch out that light, shift it really big towards the red end of the spectrum. Any questions? Should we pop the balloon? No? Should we see how big it'll get? Should we just let it run? <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay over the fan? Yeah. Alright, we'll let it run. It'll keep you guys awake, won't it? Nobody will doze off because they're afraid that thing's going to pop. Alright. So, that's why we know that our universe is expanding, right? <laughs> Fucking your ears? Is this torturous for you? Come on, we got to pop it. If people can't, if people are going to plug their ears, we gotta do it. You ready? You guys wanna give me a countdown? Three, two. Whoa, whoa, we need a whole class to start. Let's start at five. You guys ready? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs>